What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Yesterday was, I we basically took a pretty chill day. I spent the day with Monica. I didn't film a full vlog. I did film uh, some clips as to what we got up to. So today is Tuesday, but I'm going to switch back to yesterday to Monday for a few clips uh, and then we'll be right back here in a second. Thank you. <laughs> what are you saying? We got some cream, some jam, some butter. That is a weighty scone. Oh, and it's still warm. It's just been cooked, guys. Oh my god, it's hot. How does it taste? <laughs> what are you gonna say? Is it not vlog acceptable? No. <laughs> we uh, we had some scones at the Ramblers, the Ramblers Cafe in. Where are we? <laughs> We're in Castleton. 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 I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. What is it? That's better than the Liverpool calf. Yeah, I know. That tasted better than what I had at Liverpool. It was two different kinds of taste because that was a scone, so it's yeah. a dessert. Yeah. Whereas the other one we had was... It was a meal, wasn't it? A meal, yeah. So what's, what's... Let's go for a new rating, a dessert rating. Eight. Eight. But good morning, you lovely humans. We are in Castleton in the Peak District today. Uh, the lovely scenic town of Castleton. It's full of tourists because it's the East, no, it's not Easter holidays. Yeah, it's Easter holidays, isn't Easter it? Holidays. It's Easter holidays. I haven't trained today. Well, Mon, you've trained today, haven't you? Yeah, some of us are slackers. Mon rode a bike today. I did it because I'm a shell. But yeah, we're just kind of being tourists for the day in this Oh my God, this is a sweet shop. Oh, we found a sweet shop. No, it's a food shop. It's not a, it's not a sweet shop, it's a food shop. Are we going in? Yeah. <laughs> Mon. Mon. Look at all the sweets. All right, we tried to not buy any sweets, but we failed. Failed. Did you get some as well? No. I'm no, did you not? Did you not? No, I'm healthy. Is just nothing in your pocket then? Nope. You sure? Yeah. We got a. Uh, we got some straws. Do you ever think, like a town, like a little village like this, all these little houses? Do you ever think like the locals just get annoyed at all the tourists that are just walking around past the front doors, like looking into the living rooms? No, yeah, because everyone's like, oh my God, look at the house, it's so cute. And then I'd be sat in my lounge and like, yeah, I got that. I'm, try nice. I'm trying to watch Coronation Street here. <laughs> Monica. Wait, I just saw some sweets. Come what did you, no, let's, let's look, what did you get? Sweets aren't even that bad for you. What, what? So then I'm the only one who's trained today, so I'm the only one who's actually allowed sweets, aren't I? Oh, that hurt. Some giant straws and some. Let's, let's, let's have a smell. Let's sweet. have a smell. Let's have a smell. No, no, the, the vlog wants to have a smell. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Excuse me, can you get down, please? That's very dangerous. I'm spying on them. Yes. <laughs> See, no wonder the locals hate tourists, and you got people like you just spying over the bloody <laughs> garden. This is lovely. Absolutely lovely. Be a pretty sick place to live, I reckon. Yeah, can we move? Whoa, cheer up. But if Pal's got a van or a Jeep, how are they going to get it up, up the drive? I know, if someone has an ambulance issue, yeah. I'll roll them down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. Look at bottom and open doors. <laughs> roll her in. <laughs> what did you say this town reminds you of? The Hobbit, because all the houses are really small with tiny little doors. You reckon? Look, this one's a midget. Everyone's got, look, everyone's got, I mean, I don't want to just be like pointing at everyone's houses, but everyone's got small cars. Like someone up there has got a Citroen C1. Yeah, because if you've seen the size of the road. They've got a Ford K. But that, this is what I'm saying. So do you think when people move here, like part of like the contractual agreement is you have to have a car that's less than... No, I think it's just wide. common sense to have a car that fits on the road that you live on. We left Castleton and now uh, to get here, we've got to go up this climb called Winnet's Past and it is absolutely mental. Averages to 20%. I'm pretty happy that I'm driving this in a car, not riding on a bike. The car feels like it's struggling though. Feels like it's struggling. Have you, have you been up on your bike? Yeah, once, never came back. <laughs> and that is what we got up to yesterday. But today we are back and back on the, the training height, the train. After a day off yesterday, I'm back riding my bike today. Uh, it's 
So anyway, the session that I've got to do today is a pretty, um, quite a full-on session. It's quite a tricky session in terms of remembering, remembering what I need to do. So I think that I might end up writing this on my top tube. Um, it's four hours. Okay, okay, the reason I'm starting the vlog here is because I've got the Strava Root Builder app on my computer. I'm just currently planning a route for where I'm going to go. So it's a hard session because I've got different in different efforts in each hour of the ride so basically in the first hour it's just endurance in the second hour i've got some some f five minute zone five uh, efforts and then in the third hour uh, a couple of 15 minute tempo efforts and then in the final hour uh, some three minute full gas five three minute full gas efforts so varied efforts uh, and whatever over each of the four hours but i want to just be following a route on my wahoo so then like whilst i'm doing the efforts i don't need to be thinking about where i'm gonna go ideally i want to do the five minute efforts and the three minute efforts on a climb just to make it a little bit uh not easier but yeah i just prefer doing like zone five stuff on on climb so i'm gonna do an hour head out towards rivington uh, which is like our low, probably the closest place where you can do like a 10 minute climb, eight, eight minute climb. Going to do my five minute efforts on there. Uh, basically do tempo back to, to here where I live and then head out towards Stony Lane, which I have the KOM up. And that climb is about four minutes, just under four minutes long. So it should be perfect for the final hour of three minute efforts. And then also the benefit of it being so close is I can just cruise home. And like after the after the efforts are finished, I'm literally ten minutes from my house, so I could I can just crawl home. Okay, I've now planned a route. It's on my Wahoo. All that's left for me now is to put my kit on and actually go and do it. We're doing four hours today, so I've got three pieces of food, a Velo Forte bar, this uh, Classico, and um, just two Nutrigrain bras. I've also got two bottles and in. In my bottles, I've just got orange juice, I think. Orange juice in one and Vimp to any other. When I'm training, I just like to have juice uh, and then I feel like I get more of a hit and more of a benefit from the energy powder like when I just use it for racing. Anyway, let's go on our bike. I've always said, uh, I've always believed that cycling is 60% kind of mental and 40 percent physical like i like i genuinely believe that that like training like cycling is 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 harder like to do mentally than it is actually physically i don't even i don't even know what i'm trying to say uh, i guess the long and short of it is I, I went out on the bike today i did about 20 minutes and i just stopped at the side of the road like i just stopped and i was like i don't i don't want to be i don't want to be here i don't want to be doing this i don't want to be i don't want to be doing this session today and i had like that doubt in my head and that that mental block in my head that i've never in the four or five years of, of riding like that, that that i've been riding competitively like i've never ever had that that thought come into my head ever the only reason i've ever not done a session in the past is because physically like i'm too tired like i've never not done a session i've never not not trained because like mentally my head wasn't in, wasn't in the game and today that's what happened and like me that's a scary thought so what i decided to do was just to put my wahoo in my pocket and um not not look at the numbers not look at the time or anything and just ride a little bit on on feel and i just ride for as long as i wanted to and i ended up doing a little bit of a loop and, and rode for an hour and a half and then, then then just came home i think it's so important that you just gotta you know if your head's not in it then your legs aren't gonna be in it you can't push yourself as much as you need to if if your head doesn't want to you know it's it's a weird kind of thing something that's very new to me um but basically what i decided to do was just um was this ju just look after myself like not not force not force myself to do the session because even if i forced myself i wouldn't do it to its full capacity anyway because like i'd had this like i because i just didn't want to i didn't want to be doing it and i mean guys I, I could very easily just turn the camera off and not film today but i thought like i might as well like, i might as well talk to the camera and, and film it and kind of film the process and i don't know maybe i can look back on it and and work work from this and improve from this but yeah i don't know um i think what i need to do is to just like make sure or get get back to doing like what i love doing i don't know if this is from from sunday uh from 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 not feeling good in the race and, and getting dropped so so soon into the race it probably is it probably it probably is you know so yeah i, I don't feel tired like my legs don't feel tired i mean they, they feel a bit tired they, they probably do feel a little bit but nothing major 
So I think what the plan is now, like I'm just gonna chill out, just kind of do what I want to do without worrying about, like without worrying about it. And then maybe tonight, um, it's the Tuesday night Cheney. Yeah, I might go and do that. It's a little bit further away than than the Thursday one. So like when I ride out, do the loop and ride home, it's sort of two and a quarter to two and a half hours. So it'll be it'll still be a decent day in terms of the the time spent on my bike. But it's just more fun, you know. It's more of a social thing than than actual like training, or it feels like more of a social thing than actual training. You still get still get an equality session in. But I think that's just going to be the plan for today, guys. Um, yeah, I don't want to be negative. I don't want to be down. But you know, I don't. Even, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm going to get some lunch. Okay, I've spent about the last, I think, three hours just at home, uh, doing some doing some work, doing some admin type stuff, keeping myself keeping myself busy. Uh, but now we're out walking the dogs. Walking the dogs. Lexi's got a stick. Uh, Lexi's got a stick. But yeah, this evening, guys, I'm going to go out and do. Uh, Got to ride the chain gang with some friends. I don't want to make the, today's vlog a negative vlog, so that's not what it's going to be. It's not going to be that. It's not going to be that. It's about, it's about acknowledging an issue, acknowledging a series of thoughts in in your in your brain, and um, acting upon those issues. And that's just what we're doing today. So, yeah, there's horses here. Hello, mate. I hope you're friendly. Guys, have you ever seen, have you ever seen a horse? Oh, Sam's getting close. Hello. I'm just gonna wee on your log. Yeah, have you ever seen a horse swimming in water? It's the most bizarre thing I think I've ever seen. If you haven't, stop this video right now and YouTube it. They're just like such big animals and to be in the water swimming, it's just, I don't know. It looks, it looks cool. Are you gonna be friendly or? Oh no, maybe I just leave you alone. Okay, he's stamping his foot. Does that mean that he don't like you? I'm just gonna leave you alone, buddy. You do you, I'll do me. We'll just part ways like this never happened, okay? All right, so I'm back from my, back from walking these two things. Uh, we got some food on the go, chicken and treats, the pasta, watching the hour record, watching Vin Victor Campanets try to beat Bradley Wiggins' record. He's probably gonna do it. I'm gonna call it now, he's probably gonna do it. He's on for a 55.1. And yeah, I'm gonna eat this food. Before I head out on the chain gang, need something quick and easy and fast and nice. All right, I'm on my, I'm on my bicycle, heading out. I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but the light has just got so dark, man. I don't know if the chain is going to be on because the forecast, it's like 40 or 50 percent chance of rain over the next couple of hours. So if it does rain, no one's going to turn up. It is holding off at the minute. Fingers crossed. Uh, and the chance that it does rain and it does get like super dark. I have got some lights with me just in case. But um, yeah, please stay off rain. You weren't forecasted this morning. All right, guys, I want to settle. I want to settle a long standing debate, and that is socks over like walnuts. It's just, uh, it's just right. It just looks, it looks so much better. Socks over like walnuts, guys. Believe the hype. Right now, guys, is I'm having to hold the mount. I'm having to hold the light on my handlebars. Kind of, kind of like that. It's not ideal, but it's working. It's working. There's something about riding in the evening, like this time of the year, when it's getting warmer, it's getting lighter at night. The roads are empty. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do really enjoy it. But guys, I'm gonna crack on. I'm gonna end today's video here before it gets too dark. Decent evening out at the chain gang. It's always, uh, yeah, if you're feeling down, just get out with friends, man. And get on the, get on the group ride or get on the chain gang and just do what, do what you enjoy. Yeah, we'll be back, guys, we'll be back. I appreciate everyone who's riding, 
who's uh, metaphorically riding with me through this bit of a downtime, I guess. Welcome through it, mark my words, welcome through it. And uh, we'll be up there again. But guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow at 4pm. Peace!